Welcome to Accelerated Engineering. My name is John, and today I want to look at the question that has been directly asked to me on Quora. How do you display the possible combinations which have already been calculated by the combine a function in Excel? And it was a fantastic question. In fact, it was so good that I've spent almost a week trying to figure out the answer to it, the proper answer uh, to the question underneath and I have not been able to do it. It's, it's that good. So what I think this question is asking is to, is, is they want to display all of the possible combinations for something that's calculated. So for example, I've just grabbed a couple of formulas here from the Wikipedia page on this. The combine a function accepts two inputs, just type them in here. See, uh, combine A, it gives a number and a number chosen. And the way to think of this is like the number of things you've got and how many things that you've picked out of it. So for example, if you had a deck of cards, you'd have 52 cards, and then you would have however many cards you would deal in a hand, maybe five for a game of poker. Or something. And it spits out this gigantic number. Um, now, what I think the questioner is asking is, how do you display all of these combinations? And the answer is, with the combine a function, you can't. It doesn't actually do that, because the combine a function is actually solving this combinatorics equation. And I've shown that with a similar example. For example, with the combination of uh, 5 and 3. So you have 5 things and you pick 3. How many sets of that thing are there? The combine a function is just calculating this, where in this case, n equals 5. So we'll take the top part as the factorial of 5. That's what the exclamation mark means. It's a factorial. And then the bottom part is k, well we're picking, what did I say we're picking? 3. So we're going to say equals factorial of 3. And the second part of it is the factorial, oops, factorial of, the factorial of 5 minus 3, or the factorial of 2, which is 6. Well we know 6 times 2 is 12. I'm actually just going to take this and multiply it this way. And so there's our numerator and denominator. And if I divide the numerator by the denominator, I get 10. That's, that's what we would have expected this to be. That's all that this formula does, is it performs this factorial equation. It doesn't actually generate all of the possible combinations and then count them. It just performs some clever math in order to show how many combinations there are. So, and I think actually, let me just check, because this one is actually um, the number of combinations. It allows for repetitions or repeats of the same item. So what that means is if I had the characters A and B and C, and I wanted to find all of the recombinations of those things and allow for repetitions. Well, A, A, and A is an option. Uh, A, A, and B, A, A, and C, A, B, and B, A, B, and C. Uh, I think I've just got these written down here. Um, you've got B, B, and B, 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 and C. C, C, and C, A, C, and C. I think that's it. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9. Well, if I said equals combine A of 3 and 3, and there's right there, it says that there's 10, which means that I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? B, C, and C. That's the 10th one. That's all that this function is doing, is it's showing that there are 10 different ways to take 
three items and combine them if you pick three items and allow for repeating so you can pick the same item twice. This would be like taking a deck of cards and shuffling it and drawing a card and then putting it back in the deck and then drawing another card and then putting it back in the deck as opposed to the com com combination function which only takes the um well it would take let's see if we, we'll do these the two different functions uh, do it this way equals combine three and if we pick three well there's only one combination of that if you don't allow for repeats because if you have three things and you draw one and then you draw another one and then you draw another one you draw all the things so that's that's how it shows that so strictly speaking how do you display the possible combinations which have already been calculated by the combine a function in excel the answer is that it only counts how many combinations there are and it shows that already so the question is answered kind of by itself now in order to answer the question that i think this person wants which is display the combinations that are possible based on a select some number from some other number. In order to do that, I think the best way of going about this is using heaps algorithm. The way that I've thought about doing this, and I have not implemented it yet, would be to take the recursive heaps algorithm from the Wikipedia page and implement that into a recursive lambda function inside of Excel. And I have not figured it out yet. It would have to involve, well, because the, the recursive in this case generate is called once here, it's called once here. There's a for loop that's I haven't figured out how to do well yet, and a conditional there. And there's a conditional here, and all of this, including the for loop, is in the else part of this if conditional. I haven't figured out how to implement this yet. I am working on it. Check back later. Um, I will try to post a link in the description of this video when I've figured out how to implement heaps algorithm in order to generate all of the possible permutations. All of this is going to sit in probably an H stack function in order to get everything output in a nice array. I am going to figure this out. I have not figured it out yet, and I didn't want to leave this question sitting any longer without an answer. So that's, that's my answer for the time being, is that it's theoretically possible to show all of the combinations. I haven't figured it out yet, but it should be possible. Um, however, it is not possible just by using the combine a function. That is the best answer that I've got for this question. I hope that this is helpful and not too discouraging. Sorry for being a little bit long and rambly. If you want to see more content like this, please consider liking and subscribing to this video and follow me on Quora or on YouTube in order to see how we eventually figure this out because I'm sure that it's possible. Anyway, hope that you are having a great day. Happy excelling.